Hi, this video is going to show you how you can crop and resize a picture on the internet. First of all, you need to go to www.pic, that's P-I-C, resize, that's R-E-S-I-Z-E, -E, dot com. And you can see pick resize is up here, so just make sure you get to the right place. So when you're there, you get this wonderful screen that you see here. And you can actually get a picture from the web and also, but we're going to get a picture from the computer. So first of all, I'm going to click Browse. And uh, you can see here a selection of pictures that uh, I've got to hand. And uh, I, I'm going to choose this picture of the jam jars. So we're going to highlight them and click Open. And you'll see now it's got the file name there. So I want to continue and resize that. Now the little bar on the left, you can see moving left to right, that's showing the upload of the picture. And there is the picture. Yes, this is a bargain in Aldi. Um, but I don't want to show off the fact that they've got other things around that are in the bargain tray. So the first thing I'm going to do is crop to show the item I really want. Now you can see there that I haven't quite got that right, so I can drag the handle to the left. Handles are those little squares that you see on the moving side. I'm going to take it just a bit further at the top and a little bit further down at the bottom. So now I've got what I want and I'm going to click Crop Selection. So we'll click Crop Selection and it sits there and boom, here we are, we've got our cropped image. So now I've cropped it and I've only got what I want, I now can resize the picture. So the next task is, as it says, resize the picture. Now there's a whole host of ready done things, 25% smaller, 50% smaller, 75, fit a particular width of screen. But in this particular instance, I want this to go into a specific area. So I'm going to choose a custom size. Now you can give it the full dimensions, but I'm just going to enter the width of 720 pixels mm -hmm. and I'm going to let it calculate the, the height. And you can see it. It's estimating that the height will be 628 pictures. Now, you can also see that you can add special effects. The bing, ding in the background, by the way, was my Outlook receiving some incoming mail. Uh, we're not going to add any special effects. So we are going to save it as a JPEG. There are three levels of quality, good, better, best. I'm looking for a fairly small file size here, so I'm going to click good. I could have put a maximum file size in, but I'm just going to let it work out the file size. So now I'm going to click I'm done, resize my picture. And again, we have a little moving bar and up, here we go. So here's our new picture, 720 by 630, and it's gone down from 664K to just 81K. So that will load reasonably quickly on the internet. So just two more tasks. I can view the image and I can save it to disks or I can go back and edit again, or I can save it to the web put it on Facebook or wherever. I'm just going to initially view the image and that's brought the image up. I'm going to drag it in so that you can see it and that's the actual sized image after the manipulation we've done. Close that. So now I can save it to disk and you can see it's added the resize to the front of the existing file name. So if I click OK um, I can then choose wherever to save it on my disk. I'm going to stick it back into the pictures folder and hit save. And now I've got that picture available to use. I hope you find this little video useful. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.